morning everyone. In this episode we're going to go out to Mudgee. Now I've got a, two things to pick up out there. It's about a four hour drive from here. We've got a old Ford truck, side valve V8 in it. I think it's around 48 model, a jail bar Ford anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong with the year, year model because I'm not sure. And a Renault tractor, which is fairly rare here in Australia. They're, they're from in the area I am. And then um, the bloke moved and owned them. He moved out the bush there where we're going now, and he's selling up and then moving away again. So he's not taking it all with him. So we're going to bring it all back to where it used to be here to my place now. So we're actually taking this truck. My mate Bill lent me the truck, which is fantastic. Rather than rev and roar with them old girls, and if we're just going to cruise out there in this and come back, and then mate Jody let me the trailer, so. There's mine down behind it there. It's obviously got ramps so we can just load anywhere. So this truck goes a lot better than any of mine. So we'll do some progress throughout the day and like loading and stuff. Probably won't get too much driving, might get a bit out the window, but more loading and stuff around there. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Only one of them goes, the other one doesn't, so we'll see what we can come up with there. We're gonna get some diesel on our way then and scoot out there about four hours as I said so stop and have some breakfast on the way somewhere and, and we'll go in and load up probably stay the night there we'll see what happens This is a nice truck, Bill, if you're watching this episode, mate. Got hold of I've got her. We'll get her there, Mick. I think the gear pattern's written behind the sun visor here somewhere. There it is there. I've, I've been reading that quite a bit there, look. Yeah. I studied that before we left. <laughs> Didn't ever want to drive the last one. Yeah. At least we can talk. Yeah, well that's the point. No we no um, earmuffs on. No, no earmuffs. All those blokes that give me shit about them. Got about four times the power too. Only four? Well, not the paper. <laughs> oh, that bloke had a splitty. Where'd you get her from? I don't know, I'll copy. Not much left the old power station, mate. Down, are they? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have. <laughs> I haven't been out here for ages. Yeah, they started oh, 12 months ago. Yeah, it was closed. I didn't know they were going to dismantle it. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. One part of it they can't. They can't take that chimney down, apparently. Those politicians want to get rid of all of them, don't they? Yep. The common side news to come. Oh yeah, look at how clear it is. 
Not cloud in the sky. Either they be made one on the other side, do we? Might be coming from the other power station, is it? Say so. everyone we've made it near the destination but, uh, we just pulled over here and sent dad on a reconnaissance mission to find where the actual address is in the motorhome he's got his sidekick with him and all the beer there so we can't have one of them we just sort of stuck here in the bush at the moment but had a good drive truck flew it was one of mine we'd be still an hour away so this is fantastic and we're just waiting on the side of the road here in the Australian wilderness Making myself. No phone reception here, so they've gone back to get the phone going and find out where we've got to go. Okay, everyone, we've made it. Got the trailer set up here. Just having a quick one. So, the old tractor we got is over there, she's a Renault. Tipped out through the bushy, as she is there, look. Apparently she still goes and I'd believe it coming from this bloke. Comes with a wood splitter as well. We're going to start her up and then we're going to tow on this old R Ford truck we got here. And we're taking the tractor in this. Used to have a ute back on it and cut it off because it rusted out. Right. Put anything on there. Haven't opened the bonnet yet. Got a side valve in her. Taking that home. Probably asking about a couple of these old flatheads too. And there's one there. There's one in. those old things. Anyway, that's the plan. Here's his old mainline UD. I think it's a 272 V8 in that. Y block. That was his main car up until he got an eye problem and I don't think he drives anymore but I actually went to yes with those blokes in this once. Probably a three hour drive or something in the day. Sat in the middle when I was a kid and these I do a plow and be counted with a heap of tractors. A bloke took them down on a truck way before I had my license. And three of us went down in this. Quite the trip, one beauty. There we go. We go 
watch these blokes trying to start her here. I'm standing back for this one so I can generally me doing that. But. That's that there. Listen to her. Show you bloody one of our dangerous snakes, but it's there. He goes. Rolling fairly easy, Mick, with that flat tyre, isn't it? Surprised the shit out of me. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, pull on forward or backwards? Ah, oh, there they pull on forward. Going up the hill so they won't hit the front. 
Nah. Watch your shin on that step, Jesus. Got the back of your leg already. <laughs> That'll do you, I reckon. We got something to stop and roll. Go on, Tom. I think she's staying there anyway, Mick. Are you on there or not? Bring it forward, make them all have a look. Okay. Hey, you, oh yeah, that's all right, Mick. You want to short that there or? Yeah, we've still got a fair bit to go, we'll give her a... I think it'll stay on them ramps. Yep. Okay. Got a bit of flying that's there. About center, Steve. 
Yep. Oh, <laughs> you got You certainly do. Oh, he, <laughs> look, we'll get a bit of the old master up here. This is our head man on the machinery. Stay wet. Oh, Dickie Dunbar. He can drive anything that's been created by man, this fella. And they've pulled this old uh, Dale Bar forward on. Do you want to get on it or what? 
You've been walking around with that for five minutes, we need it. This is how we're getting an old flat, flat edge V8 on the back of the <laughs> equipment here. Another, <laughs> another bit of a party gem. Might need it the other end, you reckon? I don't think we'll need this. You want to get closer? Or? Yep. Oh yes, this is all part of the process. We'll take this over and lift that motor on. These lads have got it all worked out. They're very good, strong young fellows. Flathead Ford motor. Yeah. There you go, that's what it is. Last, last model built. Last model built. That one's Bill Laney. Yeah. It is Bill Laney's first oh, one. Yeah. 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 done in the bush in Australia. A bit of uh, bush ingenuity here and some technology. And very good operators. Using the equipment supplied by Steve Coven. We've got another one. Shot of it. This is how it's done in the bush. The technique. Well, tire would be good to sit her on. You got an old tire sit in the rim or something to sit her in? Let's have a look around, mate. Do you want to turn that off now we've, in case Let's you're running out of go power, pal? Look at the improvising here. And things made everywhere. <laughs> mm. 
Any fucking lobe set up here. Have a go at this. Yeah. Looking at before. It's a holy worldy, eh? Here and here. Kenny Barber's dad made one out of Conrod's. Yeah? What are these bikes, Mick, or BSA's? <sighs> well, that's an AJ, I can try to call AJ, yeah. I think that's a Beezer. I think that's a Beezer over there. Should we have tank bags on that Yeah, one. it has, yeah. Yeah. It's an AJS, is it? Yeah. Well, unbelievable. <laughs> I guess it's going to be all going to waste, eh? Yeah, that's a shame. But you say, that's an old twin, that one. Yeah, that's a Triumph, that one. Triumph, is it? That's a Triumph. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, there, 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 there's your badge on the side. On the timing cover. Oh. Yeah. Trumpy. Look at Jesus. These two are an old twin. What would that be? It might be 500, I don't know. I, I don't know all the models. I've had a few bonnies, but... Yeah, it might be a 650. 650, is it? Yeah. Fuck, you'd be holding on to that. Hey? You'd be holding on to that when it was going, wouldn't you? That's a shame. She's early, girl. <coughs> Yep. Brought the semi trailer, Jesus. Oh, okay. it's going to be used. So, here we've got a 327 Chev, it's coming with us too. Let's put a Ford top loader on the back of it, he's made an adaption plate. We'll see it in there, the fit. That was going, he put it in an F100 and he rode her off. Pulled the motor out, I don't know where the truck went, but it's certainly coming home with us. We'll put it on the floor in the cab if we have to. <laughs> Bill won't mind. Armour will get it out. Okay, we're loaded, all tied down, ready to ready to roll out in the morning. Mick's just getting a couple of sandwiches. So we've got a Renault tractor. It's getting a bit dark here. It's, on, it's actually brighter through the camera than it is in... in uh, where I'm standing. So we've got a Renault tractor, we've got a wood splitter on the back of that with a Honda on it. We've got a 46 model V8 Ford truck. We've got a nine inch diff under there. I don't know if you can see it under there. We've got a 327 Chev here. It's got a Ford top loader gearbox on it, believe it or not, but it has. I know it's dark now, but I've got a 48 model Ford V8 side valve there and a 54 model Ford V8 side valve there. Cannot wait to get this stuff home and fiddle with it. Reckon that 327 is going to go on one of those blitzes for a, for a take it to a tractor pull. It's getting dark here, everyone. We just finished loading. We're going to go and have a few cold snacks now, even though we've had a few. Mick's just bringing some over now. Look. Actually, really dark here, but the the uh, cameras showing the moon up there. If we can see it, the cameras making it all look like it did an hour ago. Look at that mix through the screen. Oh, that's pretty bloody yeah, good. It is. Oh, didn't see that. <laughs> well, I just explained to the to the to the people that you've gone to get one. That's it there. See it's and that one. Yep, two clear and a brown one. All right, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Mate, it's six thirty Sunday morning. Getting some air up in her and we're going to start heading back home, unload all this stuff. Pull up and get some fuel and some breakfast somewhere.
Beautiful morning out here, a bit cool, but nice. Couple of hours unloaded when we get home and take everything back. This will be a full day, I reckon.
not the knee. It's still red. Now we made it home, we've unloaded the three engines, it's got the diff in this box to go, then we'll have to drag the truck off and start the tractor up and drive it off. Rain. It wasn't raining here before, as soon as we pulled up and started, now we're getting wet. Well, I'm not, but those blokes are. pieces for the old truck, a couple of tractor parts, a few bits and pieces we wanted off you, other stuff. They're not so steep. It's all wet it now and everything, all the tyres and steel's wet, so it's a bit slipperier.
Leslie. To your left a bit. You got brakes? Right. Straighten her up. Okay, it's a few weeks later. When I was unloading the tractor, you just saw the um, camera went flat, then it started pissing rain. So by the time I took the trailer back and then dropped the truck back, it was time for a quick debrief of the few bottles. And then we, um, and it was Sunday afternoon, go and get ready for work. So I didn't do a final walk around. So this is the truck. I know I showed you, but if some of this overlaps, forgive me. It's been a few weeks since I started this video. 46 Ford. Pretty good condition really, it's all original, inside's a bit rough but <clears throat> excellent start for a project. We're not going to do too much to it, probably finish, do the inside nice and leave the outside, fix a little bit of rust in it but leave the outside how it is, maybe put a clear coat over it, something like that. The old motor in it, I think it's got a 48. V8 in it. The old one wore out. Many years ago it was shot, it was completely worn out, so I don't know where that went, but they put a 48 into it. And the story with it is it, it'll wind over, not a quite a full turn, so it's like something's been dropped down one of the cylinders through, through the carburetor or something's fallen off the end of a spark plug, which I highly doubt, but He's pulled one head off and it was the wrong one. There was nothing in that side. It still does the same. So I've got a kit here. I'm going to pop that one off. When our visitor comes from America, we might, might make this one of the jobs. We'll pop that head off there and see if there's anything down it. and Put it back together and try and give her a go. She should run. It was... It's in fairly decent condition by the look of it, looking at the bores and everything, so it's all, all the rest of it's here, it's been pulled apart, it's all in that box. So hopefully we'll have a running and driving vehicle, then we'll, we can work from there, at least we can move it around and get it out of the way to do other things. And so that's that truck, there'll be more to come on it, and it's just a quick rundown. I've since lined all the old motors up, so... That was a side valve I already had. This is one I got. It's a 50, uh, 48 as well. This is a 54, I believe. So that would have been the very last of this one. It's got EAC on the heads, and I googled that. My knowledge of these isn't fantastic, and they reckon they're the higher compression one that a lot of the hot rodders are, are after. So whether those heads have just been sat on there over the years or they've actually come out with it but fairly happy with that is it hasn't got a starter motor on it different block to the earlier one so the starter motor would have bolted into the the pan around the um, the bell housing so those are the two I brought home this is a 272 Y block forward that I had in the shed I've just put it out here with the rest this is a 327 I brought home <coughs> Apparently it's had a lot of work done to it. It's got a big holly on it to start with. It's got fuely heads. It's only a two bolt main. I think he said it's got a, I forget what grind it's got, but it's got a Burt Jones cam in it, which is was, was an old 
Oh, if you're Australian around Sydney here, you've probably heard of him if you're into these old things. But he used to have a shop down on, in Parramatta there that doing race cams and all sorts of stuff like that for any of you old racers out there. But she's fairly worked up and apparently it went really well. It's got a Ford transmission on it, as I said before. He wrote the car off and then I don't think she's gone since. <laughs> oh, there will be a start up on that. Plans with that are to put in, I've got another Chev Blitz, I'd like to put it in for tractor pulling, but I was going to do it with a Holden V8 here, but I've, now I've got this and they, I believe that they bowled up to the same pattern as the, the inline six, so hopefully that is the case, but if not I'll make an adaption plate, that's fine. But So that's that, I'm going to do a start up on one of those V8s, probably that one there because it's complete. That'll be a separate video. Probably one on the Chev, it, it'll be separate again. And the 272, I didn't get that this weekend, but I've tried running it and it's got a couple of teeth missing off the flywheel. So you spin her over and then she skips. You've got to keep, just lever it that few degrees for it to grab again. It's, and it's not enough for it to kick. <coughs> so whether I find a flywheel for it or just put some weld on them and file them back, I don't know, just for it to grab and keep it spinning. So. Thanks everyone for watching. There's going to be a lot more on these, all these items I brought back. The tractors, I'll try and zoom in rather than walk over there on this Saturday morning. It's over there and the collection's growing. You can see it. Oh, it's in the dark over there. But between the trees over there, it's a Renault, as I said. I'll be doing more on it too, so... The model, the exact model of that, I don't know. I just sort of brought it home. It was a fairly, fairly rushed weekend, but I'll be doing more on it too. It, it goes fine, so there won't be a will it start or anything on it. But more just a walk around, and I, I don't know a lot about it to produce a full episode unless we take it for a drive and show you how it goes. But <coughs> Excuse me, so Thanks everyone for watching. Again, there's merchandise for sale. I think we've sold out of a lot of it, but we've put another order in if anyone's interested. The link will be in the description below. Um, I'm not sure. I've got, I've got Jeffrey from Old American Iron coming over and we're going to do a collaboration with Dave from Old Rigs Down Under, as I said in the update episode. So that's something to look forward to. I'll probably do this one with Jeffrey when he's here. And then I've got a Alice Chalmers HD7 down the back old bulldozer that we might do a bit with too but we'll just see uh, thanks again everyone for watching please share please comment and um, I'll see you on the next one